Hey everybody, it's Paul from Screenwriting Scribe. Today I have something really exciting. We're going to take a look at Scrite 1.0. Scrite is a screenwriting program that was developed in India. I've done a, one or two videos on it before and I'll put those up in a card up in, above me here. But it's really exciting right now. They've actually just launched their, they're out of beta, so they're launching their main product right now. So we're going to take a look at the day. I just downloaded it and I'm going to show you sort of what the next steps look like as we go through this. Also, I'm going to show you what some of the additional features it has on there because there's some new features. A lot of it's bug fixes. You know, it's software. There's always going to be bug fixes. So let's take a look at this today and just sort of see where they've come from. And we'll also take a look at their subscription price. So first things first, uh, as we look at this here, uh, welcome to Scrite. Um, and so we're just going to go through and I just wanted to turn the camera on so you can sort of see what this initial process looks like. So we're just going to hit next. Um, and so then it has my email. Uh, I could put my name in, experience if optional, and where did you hear about Scrite? So I'm just gonna write uh, these things here. So it has, uh, as we look at the next menu, it has like copywriter, uh, actor presuming. Um, I think more probably, uh, I'm sort of more like a hobby writer right now. Uh, where do we hear about Scrite? Uh, YouTube, from me. <laughs> All right, so we go to the next screen here. So the first thing you can do, the nice thing about this new version of Scrite is that you do get 30 days or you can try it out for free, kick the tires as I always say, uh, and take a look at it. So there you just sent me a verification uh, code. So I'm gonna put that in from my email. So I have to say, um, I'm putting the verification in from my phone because I sent it to my email. The verification code is fairly long. I know you can just copy and paste, but I just typed it in. So just like, wow, it's pretty long. Okay, so let's take a look at what the different prices are. So the available plans is free, so you get 30 days, includes all features. Um, and uh, they, they have a different thing you can start with. Um, an OG plan, which is a one-year plan, including all features, barring email support. Uh, so you get $15 uh, basically for each month, I'm assuming. Is that $15 for a year? Standard daily subscription. I was thinking this was fifteen dollars a year. Let me take a look here, and uh, and I've used this particular uh, my subscription history. You can see I've used this for two years um, and three hundred and twenty-seven days, so almost three years. <laughs> um, but I'm going to take a look at these different plans because if it's a three-year plan and I can pay forty-five dollars for it, heck, I might just do that today. So let me take a look. You don't see that wrong. It's really holy cow so for 45 dollars for three years if you get in on this uh till march uh 2025 that's awesome i'm like sweet i can do that um i think that i was thinking it was per month <laughs> i was thinking like 40 i'm like dude that's a lot um but no it's 45 dollars for three years that's some values holy cow so, no, I think that's pretty cool. Um, $45. I, I'm i sold. You know, you can't get a screenwriting program for that good that's going to include including all the features, which means that in the ones they update and stuff like that for the next three years you can have. I think this is quite the steal. So, so let's take a look uh, real quickly and see at the different things that the plans give you. So, so the OG plan, um, the, everybody gets a device count of three. Uh, most of the other ones, the annual plan or the OG plan are just for one year. I mean, like, how can you not pick the long year, the long-term plan? How can you not pick the long-term plan? That's pretty cool. Uh, you do not get the email support with, uh, the OG plan, which, okay. But everything else, it looks like everything else is the same. So the only thing that you really don't get with the OG plan is just customer support over email. Um. I think it's a no-brainer. I'm definitely going to take a look at the $45 one, and I think I'm going to get the $45 one just because you can't beat it. All right, so the one thing I noticed as I went through and purchased this long-term plan for Scrite was that it uh, was a little bit more difficult. Um, because it is from India, at least going through my bank here in America, I had to go through the, tr the transaction twice and I had to go on my phone and say, hey, this is okay, this is not a scam, 
which is great. I'm glad my credit card does that, but it does take a little bit more effort in order to get there. It's not like some of the other stuff, like if it's here in the States where it's easier to just pay for it and you don't have all this other rigmarole. But like I said, I really enjoy this particular company. I have enjoyed this product in the past, so I was more than willing to take a couple moments. I took an extra five, six minutes in order for it to go through. Okay, so the interesting thing here, let's go back to the home screen. And we're gonna take a look a little differently as we begin to look at Scrite. Now the home screen has been changed from when we originally uh, got to looking at Scrite. So the thing you're gonna see here is new file. So you can have a new file from the clipboard, new blank document. Um, now the other thing here is you can have 40 scenes that split into four acts. Uh, you can have some templates. Um, and this is what we're sort of looking at. Uh, Save the cat, if you like that particular template that's available right away, Hero's Journey, or a beat sheet. Um, uh, as well too as different templates if you want to use. Um, so we have other scripts that you can look at um, and most of these are from India, just so you're aware. Um, and But I know a lot of my Indian viewers will know a lot of these particular movies. Um, and so you can take a look at these uh, here as well. Uh, you can open stuff, recover stuff, import stuff, and recent files. So that's basically what you can do to begin with. So let's just do a blank document. So this is where we begin. So this is what Scrite looks like as we take a look at that initial screen. Now, a couple of things you're gonna notice differently about Scrite is that it is it doesn't look like your traditional screen editing software uh, because they look at stuff at a scene standpoint. So you start with the first scene and you're adding new scenes at a time. You're not adding different lines within the screenplay. So that's a little different in terms of how you are going to approach Scrite. So it's going to take a little bit of a learning curve in order to get there. Uh, some of the things you're going to see here is you're going to look at, you can be able to look at structure. Uh, you can look at the notebook feature. Uh, so if you just want to look at structure, you can help plan your structure. Um, and so this is one of the nice things I like about Scrite is that there's a lot of great ways. It has a lot of good pre-work in it. It has one thing that I can't wait to sort of dive into again, which I haven't done for a little while. It has a sort of like a relationship tree, something like I've sort of seen through Story Architect. Um, and it's it, they're two very similar, and I'm interested to, to compare the two a little ways down the road. Uh, but this is a feature I really enjoy as well too. Um, so the other thing to, uh, is the notebook feature. And so you can add feature photos. And we'll talk about this uh, in just a couple of moments too, about the things that have, that have come to 1.0 version or 1.01 version of Scrite now that it's a, in a long-term release. So uh, as we take a look at some of the other stuff here, uh, you have your account profile here. Um, and we can go back to just simply clicking uh, screenplay and it gets us back to screenplay and we can see our little buttons at the, at the bottom. You can add a scene, you can add an act break, or you can add an episode break. So there's a lot of nice things you can do with Scrite. And as we go through, the nice thing as we're, as we're looking at this as well too, is you just hover over something and it pops up and tells you what it is. So we're just taking a look at all these different things. Uh, you can take a look at, at different languages. And the nice thing about Scrite too, especially if you're Indian, is they have a lot of different languages uh, in Scrite that you can use. So that's one of the wonderful things I know for a lot of my Indian viewers who really will enjoy this uh, as well. Uh, you have share. Um, so these are just some of the different functions that as we look through, but let's take a look and see what they've added to 1.0. So let's take a look briefly at the new features that are coming up in 1.0. So we have rich tech notes, and we'll look at these each in detail in just a moment. Featured photos on index cards, new forms in the notebook, bold italics, underlined formatting and screenplay text, and new home screen. We sort of explored that new home screen already, uh, but what we're gonna do next is just sort of take a look and see what they mean by rich text notes. So when you have rich tech notes, um, now, the interesting thing about this, if you have an older version of Scrite, you can't go backwards and look at these notes. You can only go forward in terms of version number to be able to look at these notes. So everything from 0.9 and lower, you're not going to be able to use rich text notes. But everything higher than 0.9, you're going to be able to do that. Um, so this is sort of what a rich text note looks like. Um, and they just sort of talked about what I just set up there. Well, starting with version 0.9, you can capture notes in rich text. They are now, you can do bold, italics, or underline your text. So you can now change the text color or backdrop or both. Um, you can now write numbered lists and what more, you can even write lists within lists, within lists, within lists as they do here in the example. So, so like I said, this is a really nice functionality they have. Uh, now, the thing to notice about this is uh, they're using uh, Quill.js, a standard rich text editor to offer this feature. Now, one side effect for this for people who don't speak English 
um, you you have to understand that it's going to be um, you will not be able to write in non-English using the built-in static translator in Scrite. However, you can write in any language for which you have configured inputs method. So basically, what you're saying is you can't in in the in the you're not going to be able to write in anything but English, I believe, in the notes. I think that's what they're saying with that. So correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Um, now, this uh, bold italics and underline the screenplay, you're going to be able to do that. And this is finally something that they are bringing into the screenplay. So you'll be able to have this little dialog box that comes up. Um, and you can bold text. You can sort of see the examples uh, in here as well, too. Now, if it's really easy, if you need to close that little box, that text formatting box, you can go back through and, 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 uh, and unclick uh, it. And, and just an easy way to bring it back as well, too. Um, the other nice thing. Uh, about this is when you export your screenplay to PDF, all these formatting options are going to be preserved. So a lot of times when you were doing this before, if you had any formatting options like this, they wouldn't go through your PDF. Now they're going to do that. So I think that's a great feature uh, to know about. Here's something that I thought that was really interesting. It's called Assign Features Photos to Scenes. So they want it, you're going to be able to attach a photo to each scene. So that proves a visual reference while you write at and also when you export the PDF. So the neat thing is, is for right now, they just have one picture that you can add to the scene. Um, as we can sort of see right here, you can see the different things. They have this particular scene has the one picture. So you can only do that with one picture as for right now. I think in later versions, are gonna be you're gonna be able to do more than that. But it's nice to be able to say, okay, so what is the scene that I'm writing about? Here's a, here's a picture that I can use to help uh, figure that out. And again, you're going to be able to print that uh, to your PDF as well, too, uh, which will be really nice. Uh, and it's really pretty easy. Uh, you simply uh, expand the scene comments panel and switch to the feature image section in it. And here you can drag and drop any photo and ta to tag it as the featured image for the scene in question. As we look at some of the other stuff, too, you can also switch to, when you're in the structure tab. You can also turn on the feature image mode. And so that way you can see your scenes not just as note cards but you'll see them as pictures and so you can say hey this picture so it's not going to show you the text from that scene now this is this is if you want that you can just look in featured image mode so if you want to look at how the scenes of the movie look versus the the uh, words on the text uh, instead of the words on that on that card you can do it this way so it's just an option for you to you know whatever is best for you to sort of figure out how do i want the scenes to lay out i mean you can always you know i tend to look at note cards with their words on them but some people might like pictures better and so this just helps this particular type of person with their workflow so you can export your notes to pdf i'm not exactly sure what odt is but so i'm going to just focus on the pdf side um, and so you can the nice thing about this too is you can just highlight what notes you want so you don't you can just do as they say here if you only want just to export a single note or all the notes with the story or character you can simply click on the corresponding branch in the notebook tree and click on the pdf icon in the toolbar to extract notes only for that section. Um, and so you can sort of see, uh, this is a, this is one of the reasons why I like Scrite is because it's really good with pre-work. You know, you have a lot of room to write your characters and sort of figure out what you're gonna do. And so here is an example of you printing out a notebook report. And so you can see all the different things that are included in that. So there's been some enhancements in this as well too. There's two new forms. Uh, so the two new forms are protagonist character treatment and story structure template. Um, and you can get those um, have they been added to the script LA, which we sort of showed you earlier uh, when we first were on the home screen? You can pull this stuff up if you'd like. Now, the protagonist character treatment form is based on a questionnaire by Scott Myers. So, like I said, if you like Scott Myers and that was something you used, so there's something you can use for that. One thing I've noticed about Scribe is they're very good about uh, taking newer types of screenwriting like theory or templates and stuff like that and sticking it into their program. And now, the story structure template. Um, is based on a lecture from Eric Edson on YouTube, and this form makes it easy for writers to capture their story research in a structured way. Uh, I haven't looked at that, so I might do a video on that too, just so you got an idea of what that looks like. Now in the notebook section of Scrite, um, more than one photo can be added to a character. So the so far, the first photo was considered as key. Now this photo was used to represent the character in a relationship graph, which is one of the graphs I really enjoy. 
Uh, but with version 0.9 and higher, you can mark any of the photos assigned to a character as the key photo. So you can add a bunch of different character photos to this notebook and select the one that you want to be sort of the one that's forward facing. So if let's say you're writing a scene and there's a particular outfit that your character is writing, you can change that in your notebook so that way you can see that um, and hopefully give you inspiration around that. And PDF exports with comments. You can, again, we talked about this before, the PDF your screen values can now be exported to include comments along with it. And they have done a bunch of bug fixes. So folks, I'm really interested to dive into this and I think we're gonna be doing this over the next month or two, or just trying to, to show you more about Scrite, and hopefully um, making a couple of different uh, tutorial videos on how to use it, because I'm really excited about this, $45. And I know the power of this because I've used it in the past. Um, it's something that's really cool. I'm really interested to see how they did. And again, for $45 for three years, you can't beat that. That's $15 a year. Uh, that's cheaper than fade in. <laughs> or, or, and like I said, they're going to be continuously working on it. So they're going to be adding new stuff in there. This is even way cheaper than Story Architect, which is for its lifetime is $120. Um, so if you're looking for something cool and new and, and you want to try something out, um, just know that, like I said, they're still adding stuff and they're still tweaking stuff and there's still bugs like any other software. So just be patient with them. But I think you're going to enjoy this. So let me know in the comment section below, have you used Scribe before? Is there a different type of screenwriting program you'd like to use? Also, um, what type of movie should I make using Scrite? Because I'll take you from the beginning to the end. Let me know in the comment section below. Until the next video, live well and write well.